thank you for joining us. This is week three of the Watchlist Weevils Challenge. Pam, what's the challenge for the week? While you're explaining, I'll show a demonstration. Great. So today's challenge is to go to your watch list and click on the column that says birth. All right. So I'm going to just go up here, my wiki tree, and scroll down to watch list. And in the middle of the screen is that column called birth. So this challenge is pretty simple. What profile do you have on your watch list that needs a date, maybe a birth date, maybe a death date, or a location? Or maybe it needs estimated dates based on their spouse or their children or their parents. And we're going to show you how to do that. So you scroll down through the list and you notice which ones don't have dates and you say, I need to add something to that. I can, I can search that. I can look up more. Look at the locations. Sometimes we get lazy and we write a location as though we're mailing a letter and that works great with the U.S. Postal Service, maybe, but it doesn't work well here. So we're going to show you an example of a profile which has a location but not what we need on wikitree <clears throat> right because this could be western australia it could be anything it could be anything so and sometimes there's a city that's in different states or it just is something county so what you want to do is open the profile to edit and we've chosen an a an and it movie. is western australia <laughs> so <laughs> And I would have guessed it was Washington State. So, so um, here's, here's the father's profile, Western Australia. So now we know for sure what we want to put in there. So I'm just going to open that up in the edit tab here. And note that when you start typing it, it's going to give you ideas, Western, all kinds of things. Keep going until you get the standardized suggestion that works for your profile. All right. And you can put uncertain if you're not sure, but see how much more clear that is than WA. So that's a really important thing you can do on your profiles. Um, and I can't help. I have to at least put the biography and unsourced template and all that. Just real quick, bear with me while I do that. No, and that's so helpful to go ahead and put that formatting in. go. And while she's doing that, I'm just going to say that in a minute, we're going to show you that if you have to make an educated guess um, about um, a location or a date, there are rules for how you do that. You don't just put something in and put uncertain. You also put research note of what you estimated. And I like to put the little squiggly estimated date up above the biography to make it clear that there's a guess in here. Do you do that, Asher? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm just going to add the uh, unsourced template real quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's so okay. helpful to just take a minute and do these little things especially on orphan profiles. And then you summarize your changes. You tell us what changes you made. And that profile is now so much healthier than it was. It doesn't have as many weevils as it did. And it's categorized so that uh, people or WikiTree members that are that do add sources for Western Australia, now they'll see this profile. It's not just out there. Mm -hmm. So even if you can't completely solve it and make it perfect, if you leave it better than you found it, 
um, whether it's your own profile or an orphan, um, this is what we do. This is how we collaborate. So your challenge this week, oh, we're going to talk about estimated dates first. Are yeah, we so just quickly, uh, there's a link throughout this page. There will be links to the different things. So you can see here the estimated date takes you to that template. It talks about the estimated date so you know how to use that template correctly. So just wanted to mention that briefly. And then add about adding research notes. Mm -hmm. Great. So your challenge this week is to find and source or improve at least five profiles on your watch list that need a date and or a location or add estimated dates with appropriate notes. Yeah, and um, just a note here, if all of your profiles are already perfect. Yes. <laughs> learn how to find profiles without dates. So there um, is a challenge, the ongoing challenge. You might be interested if you find you really like doing this. Julie uh, has, She's a team, another team member. She has a challenge called Friday Date Nights. So there's links in here to learn more about that. Uh, so maybe you get pulled down the rabbit hole of finding more dates and locations for things. And I just want to say I participate in that. And it's a really nice bunch of people. And it's really fun to work on those and solve those. So it's a good it's way good. to connect with other wiki triers. It is. It's a great way. Um, whenever I first started, joining a challenge or a project that was a great way to uh, not only get to know other wiki treers but to learn more about wiki tree and how to use it to mm -hmm. the best best way yes. all right so once you've completed this week's challenge go ahead and click on the link for the g2g post for the week they'll be linked down here and share what you worked on and there'll be the markup code there that you can then update on your profile for this week mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you've missed last week, there's a link here for that. And once you're ready for the next week's challenge, you can go ahead and click the, the link for the next week. week. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for joining us for this week. We hope to see you next week. Same time, same channel, same day. <laughs> Thank we'll you all. We'll see you around the tree.